Good morning, how you doing Christopher? Oh great, another family Saturday. How you doing Lauren? Tired. Tired, why are you tired? Because the baby gets up. But I thought she only got up twice. That's still more than zero. Oh, well, so I'm glad she got up at least once. You don't want her to not get up. Yes, we do. Lauren, do you know what that means when someone doesn't wake oh up? God, yeah. in the middle of the night. Lauren, think about it. So we are headed to Walmart. We look like it too, gosh. It's been a long morning. Actually, Christopher slept in a little bit too. That was great. But we're headed to Walmart. He's got a big boy bed coming today, and we're gonna get some sheets and maybe even look at some underwear. I probably won't film kids' underwear. I don't want to get like I don't know flagged for that. But we're trying to potty train this kid. Do you want to go on the potty? Yeah, it's going great. He said, "Where's monsters?" <laughs> but tonight he won't actually attempt the big kid bed because. He'll be babysat by granddad. Lauren and I are going out. So we're gonna get it today and set it up tomorrow because I didn't want to make granddad have to deal with all that. Well, we're here in the costume section because it's Halloween and that's what he wants to see. Who do you want to see? Who's this? Who's that? That's Hawkman? You know who that is. Let's see if he's right. Dead wrong. Dead wrong. Dead wrong. All right, who do you think it is now? Darth Vader? Still wrong. Good try, buddy. I love you. Hey, Christopher. Is Daddy silly? I don't know why he thinks I'm silly. Ugh. You want to put it on? Yeah. Okay, let's put it on. <laughs> hey, buddy, are you in there? <laughs> Big head. Wow, there he is. Well, we made a trade. How you doing? You're a lot more quiet than your brother. For now, at least. What are you doing? We gotta find some hooks. Where do you think they'd be? Huh? Well, we just left Walmart. I think we got a few extra things we didn't plan on, which is usually the case when we go there. But I think they're things that will be fun and needed. Like what? Like the little thing that holds his stuffed animals that oh, hangs. No. We were either gonna get that or a basket. Oh, okay. So we needed that, apparently. Yes. Oh, okay. The bounce house used to hold all his animals. Yes. So near the Walmart that we go to, there used to be a discount movie theater. Like it wouldn't be first run, but it'd only be a couple of bucks a ticket. And now it's gone. Now it's a first run theater and it's a little more expensive. Still cheaper compared to other theaters, but a little more expensive. And it's got those assigned seating recliner things. And Lauren and I were talking about, that's kind of a bummer. Why? Well, because when you have a family, it's expensive these days to take kids to movies. Unless they pay for themselves. Well, a four-year-old's not going to uh, Christopher will. So, it would be nice to take him to like a little kid's movie. I agree. Yeah, there was a discount theater growing up near me in a different part of town, and I would go there all the time. It was awesome. And my mom could just give me a couple of bucks, and I had enough for a ticket and some of the games at the arcade. It's a new day, man. Discount. Not gonna happen. Unless Dollar Tree opens up a theater, I'd go to it. I would more than like that idea. I would definitely go to that. I have a lot of fond memories of going to the theater. I don't know if Christopher's gonna have as many. I personally don't like the reclining, like assigned seating. Like I want a legit theater, to sit up straight, get headlights from the chair, Ew. all that stuff. Yeah, I don't want that. Pay $10 for some popcorn and $5 for, you know, whatever, milk duds. Well, we picked up the bed thanks to our buddy Jared. How's he doing today? Doing good. Doing good. Nice. We met a fan of John. That we did. Furniture. Yeah, there was a guy I had met him before at the mall, right by where we were, and he's a really nice guy. And so yeah, we are having fun today, taking the bed, and then we're going out to lunch. And guys, I'm happy to report five pounds. I'm down five pounds. I, I shouldn't just say five pounds because that could mean I gained five pounds or I found five dollar. British currency of money, it could be that. So it's like five dollar, five pounds. You get what I'm saying. So we're taking the bed, dropping it off, and then we are out to lunch. Healthy for me, maybe not for Jared. He stayed fit his whole life. He's five not single. Pounds, 100 to go. 100 to go. Yeah, right. Well, we are zooming into the evening. About to have a great time at a parent conference. That's right. We're gonna learn how to be better parents. When you're already the best, what more is there to learn? I wouldn't know because I'm probably on the top 10 worst. <laughs> Alright, I probably didn't make top 10. 
Lauren and I actually drove separate. She cares about our kids too. She's not in the car right now, but we drove separate because she's going to a housewarming party for Leslie, and I said, I'd rather eat 10 rusty knives than go to that, so I don't have to go. Well, I don't have to do anything. I'm an adult. I think this parenting conference will be pretty cool. It's, just, it's hard to say it's a conference, really. I'm just going to like one speaking, so. I'm excited though. Always want to hear about what it's like, and yeah, I think this guy's from another country, so should be interesting. All right, just got out of the conference. Clearly, time has passed. It's darker, and I have to say, it was really good. I think the main thing the speaker just stressed is that your kid needs to feel loved. It's important that they respect you. It's important that they see you respecting other people, but they just need to have an environment where they feel welcome, where they feel like they belong. You know, my parents got divorced when I was really young, like five, but I have to say that both of them did a real good job about showing that they care. And that's just like what I want to do for my kids. One thing he said that Lauren and I kind of looked at each other and were like, yeah, we crush it, is letting them know when they wake up, it's so good to see you. I mean, you don't say it like that, like Christopher, good to see you this morning. But, you know, just be excited they're around. And I think that's something we do really well. I think Lauren does it better than me. She's always excited and, and you know enthusiastic around the kids. So, so yeah, I, it was a really great little speaking and I'm glad I went. And I hope that my kids feel loved. I hope after I'm dead and they can watch these vlogs that they know that I love them and that I care about them. And I hope more than the vlogs show that, that when I die they know that, they know that much. I also hope they look back and aren't like, oh, daddy quit his diet pretty fast. Holding strong, guys, I am like starving. Lauren and I eat dinner so early because of the kids and it just makes me starving at night. Now, I'm, I'm being hyperbolic. I'm not actually starving. I, I will live. But gosh, Lauren was nice and bought me a lot of healthy snacks, so I'll probably gnaw on some carrots when I get home. Well, guys, that is going to do it for us. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to try to stay up for SNL tonight. I cannot wait. It'd be awesome if they had three great episodes in a row. Someone once told me that your favorite SNL cast is the one they have when you're in high school, but I don't know. I feel like they've just been getting really good seasons recently. Like, I remember when I was in high school, they actually weren't, like, terribly good. There was a few people, obviously, Will Ferrell was there, but that was kind of towards the end of his career. And, yeah, there were some dark ages there, in my opinion, but I think they're great. I think they... I, I talk about it too much. I like SNL a lot. But anyway, yes, I'm going to try to smake it. Well, smake it. I'm going to smake it. I'm going to try to make that. I'm going to edit right now. Hopefully that will keep me awake. And then who knows what will happen. Tomorrow should be a good day. We're going to surprise a friend with something. We as in me and my friends. So hopefully you're looking forward to that. And we'll have some family time during the day. So we'll see you next time. And whatever, dude.